Good day, TV Land. It's Flash Center with your host, T Flash, the best dribbler in 2K, aka the ass eater. On our last episode, we discussed the top 5 best builds in 2K19, and the show was sort of a disaster, to say the least. Sponsored by Trojan. Hey, hold on, help! No, no, that's for after dark. That's for the adult swim. No, no, this is not that type of show. This is a kid's show, damn it. Linda, open the damn door. What'd you do? I I'm, so I'm sorry, I'm sorry, boss. That 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 that's the only one there. Shut up, shut up. Play the damn thing. <clears throat> uh, I'm back. Now, as I said before, a word from our sponsors. T Flash's Needle, tips of the night. Sponsored by nobody. <clears throat> Uh, but with the new personnel in today's show, it should run a whole lot smoother, like 2K promised us with their servers. In today's episode, I'll be showing you how to dominate and park with your shot creator, any shot creator, or even your post-scoring build. I have you post scores, bro. We gotta, we gotta look up for the big men, you know? And this will also teach you how to win every game once shot creator is even in your archetype or post. Shit. You might shoot your way into some sweet walls. Get your mushroom tips sucked. Shout out to the Hodge Twins. You what? Oh, I, I wasn't supposed to say that on air? Hot Kiwi Balls. What? What the fuck? Oh my god. Uh, get on, get on with the show. Linda, I'm, I'm gonna need that hand twist spit lock now. I don't wanna hear any lip. Or oh, I'm calling immigration to the porch, yo, spicy tequila making ass. Bitch, that's the translation. We now return you to your regularly scheduled podcast already in progress. Hey! Yo, don't mind me. I'm just a subliminal message. But hit that sub button with a bell on and like up the video if you a young goat on the come up. What's good, YT? It's your boy T. I wanna hit that real quick. A Flash coming you guys with another video, AK Mr. 242, AK 242's A1 Shooter coming to you guys with another video. And today I'll be showing you guys how to dominate as a shot creator in my part. Any any build that has a shot creator in it, bro, I'm gonna teach you how to dominate. Even the post scores, y'all, I'm gonna give y'all some tips at the end. And if y'all want me to make a video on like how to sp uh, like cheese and combo up with spills that cannot speed boost, I got y'all. Just let me know in the comment section. I'm gonna show y'all guys the moves right here. And in these moves, these are the best moves after patch nine. I haven't, I showed you guys a video already with the moves, but now I'm gonna show you it again. And of course, I'm gonna show you guys how to effectively use each one and moves that shot creators can use to, you know, sauce up. So, you know, put on all that. I'm not even going through all that waste of time. Just put on all those for drill moves. Yeah, you already know what to do. Put on all those as well. Now let's just get into the fitting tutorial. Move your bitch ass. Stupid face. What do you get the fuck from my, my crib, Vito? Your bitch ass. I feel like a tangerine with eight. Eight? Eight? He's ground up. Yo, dirty ass. Alright, y'all see my fans right here, bro. These are my groupies, bro. Some of these niggas, they with their bitch, bro. They just gonna leave me eventually. And I wanna thank you guys for a lot helping me get 15,000 subscribers. The grind does not stop. I'm not stopping here, bro. I'm grinding for that 100k. And when I hit that 100k through God, then I'm gonna hit that mill. If you on the, if you on the grind, then bro, both mafia, flash mafia, we on it, bro. Source King, I'm on it, bro. But let's get into the tutorial. All right, first move I'm gonna teach y'all guys how to do. I'm gonna teach y'all how to do a floater. Now, a floor is very effective, like when someone's in the paint, you just beat your man. Say you just came off a screen, right? Going like this, someone's in the paint, you just put a floor up, green. And to do a floor, all you have to do is, while running in the paint, hold the right stick down without holding turbo, all right? So when you get into the paint area by the free throw line, kind of, that's when you want to hold the right stick down. And bro, I feel like that move is super effective, especially as a shot creator, because you get teardropper on goal. I am a playmaking shot creator, so I get it on goal. Sometimes I feel like 2K past it, because sometimes I used to miss like wide open floaters. But bro, I'm hitting contested floaters, not heavily contested floaters. I'm hitting those. So I feel like, and in my opinion, I feel like it's better to shoot that, to shoot a floater, than a, a lightly contested dribble pull up, because the floater is kind of open and. Although it may be contested, most of the time it'll say it's open. It's easier to green than a dribble pull-up. 
Next move we'll look at is doing a drill pull up. Now this drill pull up, to do a drill pull up, to do a drill pull up, what you want to do is while running to either the left or right side of the court, you just want to hold the shoot button. Like you want to do it while you have momentum. You feel me? Because if you just like this came out of like a super animation like this and you try to do it, that's what you're gonna do a standing jump shot bitch we do not want a shot creators bro when you're shot creating you want almost all your shots to either be like shot creating moves like drill pull-ups floaters spin jumpers all that bro you feel me because that's what you're made for you are not a pure you are not a sharpshooter to be shooting um stand-ups bro you feel me you can do it but like good great shot creators know how to pick their spots how the defense will react to every move and that's what makes a good shot creator you feel me and that drill pull up is very effective because drill pull up is very effective because it works excellent with screens. 2K has turned into a screen based game. So say my center to the left of me and I'm dribbling over here, right? And I go this way. If a center pick tries to pick up on me, I can run all the way in the corner and try to shoot a drill pull up. And because I'm faster than the center, I'm obviously going to beat him there. And it may be lightly contested, but it's more likely going to go in. And I give my center that set the screen a good chance to grab board or break box out because I took the longer route in order to get my shot off you feel me just like what Kawhi did against Joel Embiid that's what happened bro but you know how I feel why would you say that <laughs> your shot's not gonna bump my shit is bounce <laughs> Illuminati confirmed T flies are you are you rapping Illuminati my nigga Oh, that shit missed. Never mind. All right, the next move we'll look at is the spin jumper, bro. And this is super effective when the clock's down and take over because it can take ankles, bro. Like, y'all be thinking I'm tripping, but like, I'm tired of showing y'all niggas clips of me taking ankles with a spin jumper, bro. When my takeover is on, I think it only you can only take angles with your takeover on. But bro, when my takeover is on and I do a spin jumper, bro, I break ankles and I hit contested shots because because I don't know what it is about this game. But in 2K19, bro, the spin jumper is barely contested. Like some a lock has to jump in your face for it to be contested. In order to do a spin jumper, all you have to do is you can do a standing one or you can do also a moving one. That while you're standing or moving, just double tap square. Like that, feel me? Easy green. And this is the one we're standing up. Oh, it's all about timing, guys. Spin jumper is one of the most slept on and overpowered shot creator moves. I don't even know why a lot of shot creators don't use it, especially if you do a spin jumper into a screen and leave your defender there. Easy money. It's not very hard to score as a shot creator. It's just that you have to learn how to chain moves together. You can do a move and when it's not smart to do a move. And then once you have that down pack, you're, you're gonna be goaded. Next move we'll look at is the hop step jumper. Now do a hop step jumper. All you wanna do is either going left or right, run in the left or right direction. We just wanna tap square and then hold square to follow, with, follow through with your jump shot. So it look like this once again on the right side. Very effective move. I love using this move, especially against centers and people that are antsy, bro. Niggas that be antsy, they the people that if you get a little bit of space, they jumping at your shot. Like, I don't get it. That's not a good way to play defense at all. So let's say someone set a screen right there. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run in that direction, do this, and if they jump, then just finish it off with a drill pull up. Easy money. And these are easy schemes to win on twos or threes with everyone you're playing even the pro-am or if they don't play up you can just hit the easy shot it's not that hard to hit it's a bit difficult to time because it's faster than your regular jump shot you see that right there you can do it a variation of dribble moves do the behind the back and all that the next variation step back will look at the standing step back and this step back is very effective if you are in a catch and shoot situation and you have to create space if time is going down on the clock tap square while the left analog stick is pointing backwards simple and if you know how to time it then it's rash for anyone that tries to guard you bro because you can also bring ankles off of a Half step back. You All right, guys. Next move we'll look at is the James Harden step back, and a lot of people. I, I explain this in so much tutorials, ways on how to do this, but people still don't know. Bro, this is the last time I'm gonna address how to do this move, and the w this is super effective. You know how James Harden does a stout double step back, just like that one, in real life, bro. It's in 2K19. A lot of people do not know how to use it, 
one thing I wouldn't recommend is because it's kind of slow and watered down. I wouldn't recommend you guys to shoot off of it. I literally just recommend you guys just to use it as a way to draw your defender three point line and then just drive in for an easy layup or a floater. Or if someone's in the paint you don't feel safe taking a floater just go with the front words dribble pull up and that's a very effective move as well but to do the james harden move all you have to do is going in the right direction first while wearing right what you want to do is while holding turbo you want to hold the left stick dangly upright and then tap square that's all you have to do while running with the left hand little stick pointed dangly upright tap square and that'll get you that animation if you're going left it's the same thing and then watch me just easy floater and it's green every time very effective move you can use in the park and if you use it behind the screen it's more effective because then if people are playing switch you get an easy open shot creator jump shot hop step whatever you want to call it you get easy buckets very effective in the park very effective in my career for you guys that be grinding my career very effective in all aspects of NBA 2K19 next move we'll look at is the large step back that step back right there, bro. That is that I just learned how to do this. This is so deadly, bro. And look how fast I'm moving with it, bro. Best shot creator move, hand down next to the James Harden move. It's no debating. To do this move, you're going in the left direction. All you want to do is tap square. But while you tap square, you want to be holding the left analog stick down. You feel me? You're looking at the controller cam. That's why I have the controller cam right here. And then easy buckets. And because they're so high arcing, people can barely defend it. But if someone plays up on you while you're doing the move, all you have simply have to do is say, I, you feel me? And then go in the paint, easy floater, easy dunk, whatever you want to do, spin jump, first spin layup, whatever floats your boat, whatever sauces your biscuit, bro. Thank you guys watch, bro. And that's all the moves I have to show you guys. Once again, if you guys want me to show you how to speed boost, for all you pure shot creators or like other builds that cannot speed boost, if you guys want me to teach you how to speed boost, even centers, not speed boost, but to combo up in C's, just like me, without all the momentum and stuff, just say down below in the comment section. I'll be sure to drop a video on it. Help anyone that needs it. You feel me? I'm here. Thank you guys for watching the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoy. TGTGSXDOG 16K. You're on the way. Flash Mafia. You're on that ground. TGT.